Yusuf Muluhuahali is an artisan at Chirembe Mines Hospital. He is one of the many survivors of the floods that hit Kasese district in May last year. It's driven by the iron sheets, which were attacking by the water. Near the tree, I caught the tree, then the mabat went. This was Yusuf's house. First May 2013 started just like any other day, but within a few hours, the bright day was the picture of brokenness and pain. I caught the tree and stayed there for more than three hours in the tree. After two hours on the roof of the house. Slowly by slowly, he is now rebuilding his life and that of his seven children. So I'm trying to survive and on this little wage I'm given, where is I work. We still need help from government. Christine Nyachikoma also has her own story to tell. This elderly woman was rescued by our own reporter Sudil Biarhanga on that day. He carried her on his back across the water. She has no exact recollection of the date of the disaster, but she remembers being taken out of her house to a refugee camp. <laughs> Christine has no relatives and stays in this broken down structure that has no door. The floods left 20 bridges washed away, schools, hospital, homesteads and roads destroyed. A year down the road, residents of Kasese are still picking up the pieces.